Cynthia, the Social Security lot box, an interesting concept. Uh, we, right now, we're spending more in benefits than we're collecting in cash from FICA taxes. Uh, when you look on your paycheck, you'll see that little section called FICA. Those are payroll tax deductions that go into the Social Security Trust Fund. Well, we're paying more out in benefits than we're collecting in taxes because we have so many baby boomers retiring and there are not enough workers to generate money. So what happens is that the federal government takes all revenue coming in from the FICA tax system and borrows it to run the federal government and puts IOUs, treasury notes, in, in, in place. Uh, and these are someplace in Maryland, these treasury notes, they'll be redeemed over time to help save the system. But this is a lousy way to run, run any trust fund. If you did this in the private sector, you'd probably go to jail. So uh, we don't have a true lockbox. We definitely need one. Uh, at the end of the day, Social Security is going bankrupt because the amount of money coming in from taxpayers is not enough to take care of the baby boom generation. So that goes back to how do you change the system? I could afford to give up some future benefits uh, promised to me by Social Security. I'll have income outside of Social Security, so I'd be willing to give up three or four hundred dollars a month if that would help save the system. I'm willing uh, to adjust the age. We're all living well into our 80s now, close to 80, and the system set up in 1935 never envisioned people living this long. So what I would propose we do is that we extend the age slowly but surely for people under 55, and we means test benefits to keep Social Security solvent. You can bring about solvency if you do those two things, and we need to isolate the money from being uh, raided by the federal government. And uh, the lockbox idea is just more talk than it is reality. We don't have a lockbox.